Good. Hi, uh, my name is Alex. This is Vanis, Mikhail, and Renault, and we're going to present Animal Watch. Uh, our, challenge, our challenge is trace invaders. We're developing a tool to track invasive species, or in our case, all animals, over time. And one of the sustained development goals is to strengthen efforts to protect and safeguard the world's natural heritage. So to support this, we built the Animal Watch app. Uh, you can join Animal Watch and report animal sightings. You can see sightings from other Animal Watch members near you. You can click on the sighting. It'll show you what animal was there, what time it was reported, and some more information about the animal. Um, when a new sighting is reported, it'll text you to let you know there's something in the area you may be interested in. Uh, we built it as a web app, optimized for mobile use. We have Twilio for notifications, and Heroku and Amazon hosting. Um, for user engagement, we decided we're going to target children and families, getting these kids interested in animals and the environment around them, and allowing them to form a connection with their environment. We'll then aggregate the sighting data on the back end to pass on to experts studying animal populations, invasive species, um, and just anything about the animals in general. And I'm going to hand it over to Mikhail to demo now. Greetings, citizens. I invite you to join the Animal Watch. Your mission is to observe the wildlife in the Yellowstone National Park. But this task is too big to do it alone. That's why your fellow watchmen already helped you by spotting the animals in your area. If the tracks are fresh, the pin will be jumping. You can find more information about the animals by clicking on the pin and scrolling down. Now it's your time to return the favor. To, so just go out there and explore. If you see an animal, click on the new sighting button then adjust the location of the animal that you see. Then check which animal you spotted. Select the animal. And by the way, if the animal is dangerous, don't come too close to it. <laughs> we know you're brave watchmen, but nevertheless. Then take a picture. You guys are not bison, but close enough. <laughs> and submit. Aha! So now your fellow watchman in the area will get a text message to see that uh, the animal has been added. But don't think for a second that this is just for your entertainment. We will be collecting the data and uh, sharing it with the researchers across the globe to see their migratory patterns uh, for their animals and then they will analyze it and study it in the future. Uh, so let's see that the new spot was added. Uh, we were adding the bison, and he's right there, 1543. Uh, the app is live, and uh, you guys can go to animalwatchhirokoapp.com to check it out. Um, so are you ready to join the Animal Watch? <laughs> Thank you. We're stunned, they're so good. <laughs> so you're ready. <laughs> yeah. um, that was great. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the, the team and what role you played on the project? Oh, sure. Sure, uh, <coughs> the, the web service is built in Go. Uh, the database we use is Postgres, so I built most of that. And the web app itself, it's kind of like divided among all of us. It's uh, built in React, and I can let the rest speak for them. So I'm basically in charge of the capturing of the animal because I did the camera capturing part. I did uh, some of the front end work and uh, the goofy uh, pictures and whatnot. And the great presentation. <laughs> I designed the database and helped Mikhail with the front end. 
So I'm like the world's worst boy scout in that I would see a bison and think it was like a cow, right? And that's an extreme example, but point being, I think it'd be cool if you guys were able to uh, implement um, AR, maybe using some of the available tools that were here and kind of uh, intelligently recognize, you know, instead of asking the user to know what they're looking at, uh, let the database know what they're looking at. Yeah, we, we were thinking of using Clarify to kind of like identify a picture, uh, an animal in the picture and kind of let the user guess whether, hey, is this a bison? Or guess, get, make a guess and we'll tell you if it's correct or not. But the thing was, when we were looking at the general uh, mo learning model in Clarify, it was returning like no person, grass, you know, a little bit of too much noise in the data set. So we needed to create a custom learning model just on animals and we should be able to have much better probability that way but we just didn't get there. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, and then I guess so my thought on that is it'd be, it would kind of help with the gamification of it is say you get uh, 10 bonus points if you correctly identified the animal that you're looking at, but it's, it's a, a cool next step. Yeah. And I think if um, the, only, the only one thought I had is that smartphone cameras aren't that great, so you might want to give people an option to upload from a, like a, if they have a zoom lens a camera or something like that, because if they're out there and they have like a really good camera, the, you know, the bison might be far away, but they can take a better picture with a real camera than a smartphone camera. Yeah, the desktop version of this app actually has the upload version, and the, uh, the mobile version of this app actually had the selection of uh, either use camera or file system to upload the picture. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you.